Alright, what's up guys? Aiden here, Aislinn Landscape, and welcome back to another video. If you haven't seen last week's video, link in the top right hand corner. But, sometimes people do this thing called go on vacation, and that's what I'm about to do in a few weeks. So, today is just a video shooting day. So I just literally wrapped up shooting the tuna can challenge video, so I don't wear the same clothes all the time. So, I'm just going to shoot videos all day today. i got three to do. I'm on the second one right now. But, I bought this HDX one gallon hand can sprayer. Uh, from Home Depot. It probably sucks, but um, yeah. Spraying weed control. Pretty simple. Time to get in PPE. Catch you guys in a second. Alright, I'm back. Got some long pants, shoes, long sleeves, gloves, sunglasses, and a hat. Always make sure you take your personal protection equipment and stay safe when spraying weed control. So, let's go review what we're going to be spraying today. We've got the Ortho here, let's get some light on the situation so we can actually read what we got. Okay, we got Ortho Weed Be Gone with crabgrass control. This is a concentrate you mix in here with water. Um, active ingredients, we got 2,4-D. That is 6.2%. Got our Conclorac, which is 2.13%. Dicamba, 6 tenths percent. And that's it. So directions to apply most important direction is where your PPE you know anyway I just pre-read this um let's see where is it Spanish I swear I saw it oh here we are here we go hold on one sec okay here we go it was stuck to the other page. Directions for use, lawns to be treated, cool season, warm season. It says how to use. Use two and a half fluid ounces per gallon of water for every 400 square feet. The maximum application rate is 6.4 ounces per thousand square feet. And yeah. Okay, so we will be going at a 2.5 ounce per thousand and uh, our poor 400 so anyway in this sprayer we're gonna mix in our weed control and what else are we gonna mix in and water but then my good buddy Jake the lawn kid taught me that we should mix in some Dawn dish soap due to the fact that um it will help the weed control stick to the actual leaf blade surface of the clover so I'm actually going upstairs to my house right now and we're gonna get some Dawn dish soap to go ahead and put in there to help with the weed control okay got some dish soap in a bowl right here to take down and mix in with our weed control so I will show you that in just a second once I get out here okay here we go all right let's go ahead and mix up everything to get spraying Okay guys, before I actually took it out to spray the weed control, I decided to play with it in my driveway and just kind of see how it sprayed and stuff, how fast it sprayed, how often you had to pump it up and stuff. So now that I have all the factors taken into place, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the weed control for how much we need. Take it back there. Well, let's get that clover out of here. Right here, right now. See you guys there.
All right, guys, I meant to say I only mixed up a half a gallon of, of uh, spraying solution, and it's going really well. I'm about a little bit more than halfway done, so I think I'm going to go ahead and mix up another gallon. But you can already see where, where it was sprayed down in there, because, like, I'll take you down here where I sprayed the property line. Look. Sprayed clover? Not sprayed clover. It's already starting to get brown, so I don't know how long it'll take, but I gotta run inside and grab a new camera battery for this thing. And then we can get back to mixing and spraying. Spraying and praying. Mixing, spraying, and praying. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, catch you guys in just a little bit. So we're back at the spraying. I got a whole nother tank mixed up right here. Just about ready to go take it back out back finish out this weed control and then I'm going on vacation with my dad for 12 days so when I come back I'm hoping to come back to a pleasant surprise of dead clover so let me without further ado finish out this spring catch you guys in just a little bit okay guys I got this entire area done all the way back here and then reapplied on the patches in here so we applied today. Today's date is June 25th. And I won't be back till the 8th. So we will see how it looks when we come back. And I'm hoping for success. I'm hoping I can come back and just spot spray the rest. But um, that was really enjoyable to get that done. And I can't wait to see the results. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along. I will leave a card for Jake's video in the right hand corner and a tag for his video at the end. Um, as a thank you for showing me how to put the Dawn dish soap in there, but that's really all I have for you guys. This sprayer is not really that great, but it did just as just okay for what I was doing with it. So not bad at all. With that, I'm Aiden from A's Lawn Landscaping. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys come back for step two of backyard renovation. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.